boy howdy and welcome back to the channel before this video goes any farther pause the video like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already now this video is a video that i've been keeping a secret for a while now i've been wanting to buy an ice castle or an ice house or an ice shack whatever you would like to call it for quite some time now and i've been scavenging the facebook marketplace for gosh darn two years now and i think i finally found the perfect shack that i wanted to buy here's some things that i was looking for when trying to find something to buy could i have bought in a brand new ice castle yes and would it have been nice right away and ready to fish yes However, I thought it would be cool to buy a more affordable house and then renovate it and then take it fishing. Just to show that you guys don't need to be spending a crap ton of money on something really nice to fish out of. You can buy stuff that's cheaper and fix it up yourself and take it fishing and it's gonna work just fine. So that's the purpose for this next couple videos. Um, I found this one and I was messaging this guy for a while now on Facebook Marketplace and we came to a price. I'm gonna be buying this thing for about $3,000, okay? Now Sam's here with me. We just pulled up to the spot where the old ice castle is stored that we're gonna pick up right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna film any of that process because it would just be a little bit weird. Um, but we're gonna take it and then I'll do a whole walkthrough in this video of what I bought and then future plans with it and all of that stuff. But the, the idea of kind of getting this is again to show you guys that you don't need to buy something super expensive. You can just buy something a little bit cheaper and with a little hard work and elbow grease, you can make something very cool. My plan is to get I don't know, like it'd be cool to make like a five part series of Sam, myself, and maybe a couple other people renovating this ice shack. Uh, but I, I don't know. We're just gonna play this all by ear. Just the next videos that you guys see are gonna be all revolved around remodeling uh, this ice shack. Hey, you need a ride, brother? Oh, how's it going, brother man? Good, how about yourself? I'm doing good. Are you excited to buy this ice shack? I am, I am, the guy's here. Let's is he here? It. Oh yeah, let's do it. All right, so the guy that we're buying it from is here, and we're gonna buy this thing right now. I don't wanna film any of this just cause it'd be a little bit weird, um, but we're gonna talk to him, get this thing going, and then I'll show you guys once you get it all situated. Well, Bucko, we did it. We did do it. We finally bought an ice shack, a permie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you guys have been waiting for, here is our $3,000 Facebook Marketplace homemade ice shack. So we're filming this in the middle of a road, so I'll, this is gonna be interesting, but here she is, boys, the old beauty. Comment down below what we should name this thing, all right? I'm gonna do a full walkthrough starting now. So I believe this shack is, we don't know for sure, we gotta do some measurements later, but I'm gonna say it's roughly like a eight by 14 or a seven by 12, something like that. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Um, when we saw it in person, I was like, holy crap, it's a little overwhelming. Uh, it, it looks like it's dang near 10 feet tall. So it, it's definitely a tall boy and it probably weighs around 2,500 pounds. I thought this was gonna be a little bit lighter uh, but it, uh, apparently it's not. So in the front here, okay, this is what it looks like. We got some lights right there, which is cool. We got the all spare tire because at one point in time, Sam and I probably will break down. We got two 30 pound propane tanks. So we should be good on the ice with that. Oh yeah, should be. I don't really know much about this kind of stuff. So like, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but we just got this little guy right here to take it off. Uh, apparently there's a wench right here, but as you can see, um, it's broken. So I don't even know what this is used for anyway, Sam. Like, what is this used for? To winch it up and down off the ice, I think. Oh, right. really? I, I don't know. I have, I, I I'm literally sure have no one clue. Of the ones where you, uh, you know, you take this out and this comes up. So oh. this can sit flush on the ground and then you wheel the other two sides down. True. I don't know. I'm not much of a permy guy. Yeah, I'm not but... a permy guy either. So this is broken. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. We got to figure that out before we take it out fishing. And then, well, as you can see, um, no lights, no electricity. 
and we're not big electricians so this is going to be super interesting to figure out how that all works but that's pretty much we what we have for the front now looking at the side okay we got a cool little door here uh we have these little cranks so again not a big permi guy you crank these sons of guns down and it goes down to the ice got some wheels uh, I have no idea how these work, so this is going to be a whole learning curve throughout me and Sam's YouTube career, figuring out how this thing works. But we got a nice little solar panel here, which is, I don't know, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, the back here, we got some little reflector stuff, and then we have two lights, but obviously they're not working right now because I just told you guys the electric is not working. And then, I mean, the side of this is just like, just tin. Oh yeah. Like, I don't know, it just kind of looks like, tin. it's just tin. I, I don't know It's raining or sleeting on the ice, it's going to be pretty loud. And then this side's pretty much identical to the, the other side I just showed you, but it's got two windows, so there's going to be plenty of light for the boys. And then the top, I have no idea what the ceiling looks like. I can probably put the camera up there and you guys can take a look at it. Ice snow. So yeah, that's what the top looks like. And again, Sam and I know nothing about any of this this is our first time ever owning anything like this um you guys have seen me and sam pretty much doing poverty ice camping we thought you know let's slowly work our way up one of these days maybe we'll buy like a hundred thousand dollar house put on the ice maybe maybe who knows but we're gonna start with a three thousand dollar facebook marketplace one but i'm getting cold so let's go inside and check out what we got hmm did bud give us the wrong key is that the key yeah it was the key inside the cup i mean what about the other it don't way? fit the other way, you know. It's too wide. You know what I mean? You have a problem opening or putting stuff in holes? It, this key looks a little crooked. Let's try a different key. So there's like 50 keys to this thing, but I got the one with fish house on it, so it should open. Hopefully. Oh god. I just don't know how to open a door. Three hours later. Oh. What's that oh. strat, Rick? I'm just ripped, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ricky, we're inside and currently we don't have the lights working, so we have to use our, our flashlight phones, fo whatever it's, uh, flashlights on the phone. Can you guys see? All right, guys, so I'm really sorry, but yeah, we gotta figure this light situation out. So the tour right now is gonna be a little bit dark, but we're gonna make do with what we got. But we're inside here and it's nice and warm in here right now because number one, everything is insulated. The ceiling, the walls, and the floor. That's a big thing you guys should look for when you guys are trying to buy some type of a cheaper shack. Make sure the whole the floor is insulated and everything else is insulated. So that's a plus. And it's also warm because it was sitting in Bud's heated shack or sh heated shed for who knows how long. So yeah, I don't know. But God, I feel like Flair right now, Sam. Buying something off Facebook Marketplace and stuff. Flair for watching this, shout out. All right, so we're gonna do a little tour now. We walked in right there and as you can see, we got a light. Now, there's one, two, there's about five lights in here that kind of look like that. Um, and then this one has a little cover on it. I think Sam and I's plan is to eventually replace them somehow with like nice fluorescent or LED ones or something. I don't know. You guys have to drop all these comments down below what you guys think. But the front here, we have two fans. Uh, so heat rises, guys. And these fans are going to help push all that warm air down on us so number one we stay warmer and number two we can keep the propane a little bit lower so that's nice we have a nice deck up there uh we got a little plug-in right there which is super cool i have no clue if that's connected to the solar panels or something i would assume so but we got one router reel in here and another one. one over there so two router reels already that's kind of a plus huh curtains or we have a little rack right there where you can hang some stuff and again guys we're gonna like probably do a lot of changes to this so i'm just giving you a a little overview of what it looks like right now as is one hole right there in the front and then another hole over here and then if you guys can see that cord that leads to this guy right here i have no idea what type of heater this is it says it's a mr heater i'm sure i've seen plenty of these in other ice shacks and stuff but he was telling me it gets so hot in here that you guys got to fish naked in this thing Another window, and there's two windows in here. What's really cool about these windows is they come with this awesome little curtain here. Now, I've seen Cheeks curtains in normal ice castles where it's like just basically like 
linens off somebody's bed that they pulled off their grandmother's stuff. And it's just like two that slide this way. This thing is bougie, man. Like it just pulls down and that's definitely going to stay here. But I'm going to put that back up for right now. Looks like we got a free bobber, which is cool. Um, oh, do you know what this is for, I bet? I would say cooking, but I feel like yeah. this is not for cooking. No, dude. I, I don't know exactly why this metal thing's here, but it happens to be right over this. I'm going to say this is for cooking. I don't. You're tripping. I, I might be tripping, but guys, drop a comment down below. What do you think this is for? I'm going to guess that's a fire extinguisher thing you put there, maybe. Probably. I don't know. And this is something that's huge, really huge carbon monoxide alarm, okay? You guys are always commenting when we're poverty camping, like, hey, you guys should have a carbon monoxide alarm. And we're like, yes, we 100% should. But now we actually have one. So we're going to be safe out here when we're doing some ice capping. And right underneath here, it's just more outlets, which is super clutch for the boys. And then you come over here. Uh, it looks like another fire extinguisher or something. I don't really know. But if we look to the ground here, we're getting more towards the back. We have a hole right next to that heater, a hole right here, and then vice versa. If we look on this other side, we have a hole directly across from the one that I showed you across from the heater. More outlets, um, a light for when the actual lights are working. And then, was that a fart? No. Right on. And then another window with the same thing I was telling you. But the difference between this side and the other side is we've got a cable right here. And it looks like, oh, did... Which way does it kick? Oh, right on. Let's just, let's just break our new things. Or does it not kick? Oh, it folds, brother. It probably, yeah, pushes, but, or, you know, I think you do something like this. It's and then, yeah, out. there we go. You fold it up like that, and then you can take it off. We'll, just, we'll leave it down for right now. So we have a like kind of like a table right there. Um, I don't know. It's a little bit random right there. I don't know if we're gonna leave that or not. But as it is, there's a table. I mean, dude, imagine this though. You're sitting right here. You have a hole right there fishing. Playing I put God. my gaming monitor right there, and this is the gaming area. Good. I don't know. There's so many endless possibilities here, but. Over here, we got another light, and then this is connected to the solar panel right on the other side here. And again, I have really no idea how it works, but it looks like you can turn on and off, on and off right there, which is very nice. Um, the cords lead down, and then you would attach it to a battery right there. So I'm gonna have to hit up my boy Stormy from Dakota Lithium to send me a battery to put right there that can power everything, which is gonna be hella nice. And now we look at the back. So you guys already saw these hole. This is a bed. It's a, I don't know, it's a little smaller bed, but it looks like one person could lay on top of there. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do for a mattress yet on these things. We could just go to Walmart and get the memory foam stuff. Um, or we could, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. This is why I have you guys on the channel to drop these suggestions. I don't know if getting those little mattress foams would be the best thing to put on that, or if there's something better, but. Um, looks like we have a little another jack right there. He was telling me if this gets stuck to the ice, the the bottom of the ice when you put it when you put it down, uh, that jack helps it raise it up so you can get off and and go about your business. But we look up a little bit, and there is another bed. Now, as you can see, this board right here, and there's one on the other side. They originally sat right here, and I believe they sat right there because then. You could obviously use both beds, um, but the guys that owned this previously never used the top bunk, so they moved it up and they just kind of use it for, for storage. But Sam and I's idea is, I mean, we're probably, we might, we might make a latch system to where the bed is down here, okay, when it's folded out, but then it can fold, fold back up when you're not using it. So um, I don't know if that's a good idea or if we should just all together move these boards down and have it permanently just sit like that. That's something Sam and I are gonna have to discuss. But right now there are two beds in this shack. All right, we're gonna do one last pan around, okay? Just so you guys can see everything like we just showed you. All right, we're just panning around, panning around. Yep, there you go, the lighting's good. Yeah, so as you can tell, it's pretty basic. That is pretty much the whole walkthrough of our Facebook Marketplace shack. And now is the fun part, figuring out what we should do with it. And Sam and I already have a couple ideas. 
which you guys are going to see throughout the next couple series of videos. Um, we're going to redo the floor for sure because look at the floor. It's just wood, like just wood. So we're thinking of getting vinyl, some like heather gray vinyl or something and kind of laying it across and doing it all around the holes and it'll look nice because when you, you spill water on it and stuff, you know, it'll dry out nice and it won't stain if you had carpet. Um, and then it's a little, it looks nicer compared to just this. So I think we're going to do that with the floor. And then another thing is eventually, I don't know if we're going to do this this year, but as you can see, the walls behind us, is just, I don't know, it's just your basic wood. Uh, I think at one point in time, Sam and I would like to either gut it out, replace it and put like, I don't know, some type of cool little log looking thingies for the walls. Or I don't know, this year we might end up just painting it. I have no clue. Drop those comments down below on that idea. And then what were you we thinking about with the front here? I'll sing up in the front. That way if you have more than just two guys, I mean, it's a pretty big shack and there's plenty of holes. If you want to have a, another buddy come and, uh, you know, fishing's a little slow that time of year. You just, you know, hang out with the boys. You could put another foldable cot or something in there, or maybe not even. We might put a foldable bed just that way it can fold up here. And if we do have somebody else that comes, we can just fold it down and they can sleep here. Or we could just bring a cot with, you know, just sit in the back of the truck bed and throw the cot in here if someone wants to come out. But I think it'd be cool if we got to hang a bed up here. And then the last idea that we were thinking about was putting a TV in here. Now, I'm not really sure where we would install it. I mean, I feel like in the front, it's kind of just the smart place to put it. There's already outlets there and people in the back could watch it. So uh, we might end up putting the TV over there on the wall with like some type of mount. But again, guys, we're gonna need your help with not only the TV suggestion, but just suggestions about everything. Number one, you know, little tips and tricks about towing or even just like putting your ice castle down or how to store it. Like all those basic things, please, please, please help Sam and I out and drop comments down below so we can read them and learn because like I was saying, this is a whole new journey for me and my brother and we're bringing you guys along. So we're newbies and we're here to show you guys that you know, you guys at home can go buy one of these and fix it up and use it yourself and maybe learn something along the journey. So that's kind of the, the plan for this thing right here. We're both super excited about this purchase. Again, like I was saying earlier, we're gonna film multiple videos about renovating this, which are coming up very soon on the channel and uh, don't know how many exactly videos there will be, but they're gonna be super cool type of videos where it's more construction rather than fishing. And then the grand finale at the end is once we get everything done, Sam and I are gonna go and ice camp in this. So that's our plan for the month of February and maybe a little bit into March. So I guess that's all we really have for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And yeah, we'll plan on catching you guys on the next video where we start the renovations. See ya!